What's up guys, Mr. Viola here and welcome to a new scrap mechanic video. I have an amazing creation to share with you today. An amazing creation. One amazing creation. Or nine creations in one, I should say. This is absolutely incredible. I've never seen anything done like this before. Get hyped because this is a special one. If you guys do enjoy this video and are enjoying these scrap mechanic videos, make sure to let me know by punching that thumbs up, making it rain those thumbs up. Quick little apology, I'm still a little bit sick. My voice isn't 100%, but I'm gonna go and try and tough it out. I'm gonna try and tough it out. So, like I said, this is a little bit different to things that we've sort of covered in the past. It's actually very, very different. This is something I've never really seen before. Check it out. This here has been created. It's made by a guy called Pingu. Newt, Newt. And he has made 12 police vehicles. That's right, 12 of them. Check them out. And they're all in one spawn. They're all one creation. The thing is, they're all connected by like, you know, just like a little bit of pieces of wood. You break that wood and then you can have that individual vehicle. The thing is, and you can probably read it in this little description on the side, it gets very laggy. You do not want to go and take this lift off. So things are going to get possibly weird. I'm going to try my best to avoid any lag. I've sort of had a play with it and I've worked out how to avoid the lag. And I guess I should probably give a little bit of credit down here. The police squad and the Volvo cop models that were not built by this guy. They were made by a guy called Juan and Shmilu. All right. Well, now we've got that out the way. Let's get into this. The police set of doom. Let's do it. So that's not the laggy part. As long as this thing is on the lift, we're all good, baby. We all good. But check this out. There are so many of these things to play with. I can't wait. We're going to go from left to right. I think that that's the best way of sort of testing this out. So I believe as long as we go and disconnect these things one at a time, we should be fine. As long as we don't, you know, drop our lift anywhere else, then we're going to get in trouble. So this here, I believe, is one of the sports sedans models. It looks really, really cool. It's a nice little sporty looking cop car. I'm pretty sure... No, it does use mods. It does use mods. You can see the little, uh, little glass blocks there. So... We've got the number one opens up the back engine. Number two opens up the door. Three closes the other door. Four, back door, five, other back door. And that's it. Okay, so. Oh, it's running off of gas engines. It runs on gas, this thing. So it's economical friendly. Very good, very good. The thing actually looks really, really cool though. Fun little fact. Our cop cars in Australia aren't black. Ours are white, white and blue. But I know in America, like a lot of them are like black and white, I think. But uh, yeah, fun little fact there. This thing looks really, really cool. It's got these little lights on top. It'd be really cool if there was a way to like illuminate stuff in the uh, scrap mechanic. But as far as I'm aware, there aren't. Man, this thing is fun to drive. Gas engines, like just they offer such a crazy experience. Come on, don't go and jack yourself on a rock now. I just realized I had, I was planning on like destroying these vehicles one at a time with the lift. I guess we can't do that. <laughs> Anyways, on to the next one. This one here looks really cool. It's an SUV. It's a big, bad SUV. So let's go and break our little bridge thing and hop inside. I guess they're all left-hand drive, aren't they? See, I'm used to the driver's seat being on the other side of the vehicle. So we've got a lot of buttons on this one. One opens up this door. Two opens up the other. I'm guessing three, that one, and four, this one. We've still got a bunch more buttons to press. Five, the bonnet. Six... Oh, the little tray at the back, seven, <laughs> the little esky there, and eight is, of course, the horn. Let's take this thing for a bit of a drive, shall we? Dude. All right, so this thing runs on a normal engine, on a petrol engine, and it is fast and actually drives really well. I'm surprised. This is really, really nice. Are you seeing this? This is a freaking drifting machine. And it's got Pingu on the front of it. Yeah! Dude, this thing is awesome. And I don't... I, actually, I did say that about a lot of creations. But this thing is legitimately awesome. Look at this drift. You ready? Ho, ho, ho! I don't want to hit that. That would cause some lag. Lag blowing your brains out. Anyways. I reckon we parked this bad boy. That is an awesome car. Um, I think we're stuck inside. We gotta go and open up our little door. Or oh, number three door. Three... Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's the way. You hop out through the back seat, of course. On to the next one, guys. It looks like the next one is a bit of like a squad car. 
Let's take this thing for a bit of a boost. We're gonna go in through this side. Oh, this one's the two door. Oh, this is like your sports special. Clearly. Oh, dude. What did I just... It's got hydraulics? How the hell did he do that? That is cool. The thing has hydraulics, man. Oh, look at it. You can see the little, uh, it's kind of like a little piston thing. Two shuts the door. Three does the other door. Four does the back. That is an engine. That is an engine right there. And five. Oh, whoa. Five, like, brings up the little scoop for, like, super speed mode. Well, yeah, we want super speed mode. We're going to bump up these hydraulics. Let's take this thing for a drive. It's another gas engine car. Economical friendly sports car. Is there such thing? I don't know. I'm stuck on a rock. <laughs> this thing looks really nice though. Okay, don't slide into that. We're gonna lag. Not too bad, not too bad. Dude, this thing looks really nice. It almost looks like a Celica or something. Well, unfortunately, we went and flipped it. And since we can't use our lift to change that, yeah, that guy's totaled. There's no more, no more playing around with that vehicle, I'm afraid. On to the next one. So next up, we have something that looks like a Lamborghini. In fact, it looks a lot like the last one we just... Oh, dude, it's got Lamborghini doors on it. Yes, it's got them scissor doors. What is this? It looks a lot like that last one, but I don't know what it is. So two opens the bonnet, three shuts our door, four opens the other door, scissor doors, man, gotta love it. Five opens up the boot, and that's it. We got another gas car. Dude, this looks awesome. It almost looks better than that last one we just drove. Let's see how it goes. Can it, can it, oh, it's getting a little bit laggy, isn't it? <laughs> we really got to like think about destroying some of these cars. This looks really, really nice though. I don't know what these cars are. I'm, so, I'm sure someone will know what these models most, most likely represent or rec, re, uh, yeah, rec, re, yeah, represent, I guess. Or resemble, resembles the word I was thinking of. But that is just an awesome car, dude. On to the next one. We got a little ATV of some sort. Check out this little fella. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Is it like one of those little ones that drives around uni campuses? Your little college campus? College police? In the little golf buggy? It's a little golf buggy police mobile? What in the world is this thing? I don't know. But um, yeah, I think we've pretty much explored that vehicle in its entirety onto the next one now this looks cool this looks very cool yes this is awesome this looks like a halo warthog dude oh the police little lights at the back there nice i love how it's sort of separated a bit and the steering sometimes the steering can be quite flippable oh, wow that's disappointing. So, as you can probably tell, the world is starting to get quite laggy. Unfortunately. But that's all good. We gotta go and take these ones down from this end. Just because... If we could break it over there, all of these are gonna fall on the ground together. The world isn't gonna be pretty when that happens. So, what we have here? It's like a little hatchback police mobile. We got two doors. We got... Oh, dude, the bonnet looks sick. It's got a little custom paint job in there. Three opens up the boot, plenty of storage for the other door, and that's it. Well, this thing looks quite nice, doesn't it? It's like a little, I don't know what it is. It's like a little Astra. I don't know what they are in everywhere else. It's a nice little looking car though. Let's go on to, it's like a Beetle almost. Anyways, let's move on to this one because this looks tough. This looks like a Hummer, man. This world's just getting laggier and laggier. <laughs> Now, this is like a Jeep. This is like a Range Rover, Land Rover type of car. For sure. So, one, two, and three. Whoa, okay. The suspension on this is out there, dude. It's crazy. Look at the suspension on this. Look at it wobble. Look at it wobble. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. Pretty cool, though. What did four do? Oh, four opens up the trunk. Love it. I seem to be a little bit stuck. Okay. We got another, like, sporty cop car here. Look at the spoiler on this thing. Look at that engine in there as well. Oh, the back opens up. Someone can ride back there. I guess this is like a, it's like a paddy wagon. You can, like, put a little criminal in the back there. Or something. <laughs> I don't know. This is sick, though. Let's shut these doors, though, quick. 
before before we get pulled over by the real police for having our doors open while driving. Can't do that. Dude, this looks awesome, man. It almost looks like a, a Corvette or a like an like a Mercedes. Like one of those long ones. I don't know what it is. It looks really, really cool though. Freaking cool car. It's another one of the sporty ones. There's a lot of sporty cop cars in this in this download. A lot of sporty cop cars. All right, so I went and removed a whole bunch of the vehicles. These are the three we have left to check out. The world is a little bit less laggy sitting now, so that's that's pretty good. Let's hop in. Whoa, look at these doors. That's cool, dude. That is so cool. All right, let's move out the way. I want to test them out. So, what did two just do? Oh, two does the back. One does the bonnet. And then three and four do these really cool doors. That is awesome, dude. We got the suicide doors. That's what they're called when they open up backwards. So, this is a bit of like a SUV truck type of looking thing. This thing drives really weirdly. Check this out. Look at this. We're driving back. Oh, God, the lag. Oh, you don't want to deal with that. Look at this. Eh, not quite. Not going so well. So, pretty nifty car if you ask me. The thing drives quite pleasantly. Sort of. <laughs> really, I gotta say, this thing is funner to drive backwards than it is forward. Because it just drives in unbelievable fashions. Unbelievable directions. It defies physics. This thing is a lot of fun though. I reckon this might be my favorite one yet. All right, it's time to check out the final two vehicles. This bad boy right here looks really, really nice. Let's get it away from that truck, and I think that's going to fix a lot of our lag issues. This looks awesome. Like, really, really cool. We got the bottom one, opens up the engine. Fantastic looking engine. Two, shuts our door. Three, opens the other door. And then four, beautiful. Look at that trunk space. That's that. That is a massive trunk. You can fit plenty of criminals in there if that's what you want to do. But, dude, this thing looks amazing. Let's take it for a drive. If we can. Yep, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Dude, this thing looks sick, man. It actually drives really nicely, too. It drifts. All of these things drift so well. I don't know how they've managed that. I don't know if they've got suspension glitches in here to, like, make it all nice and stuff. But this thing is a wonderful vehicle to drive. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my God. The flips are real. The flips are real. Well, let's... I wanted to stop it. <laughs> this thing is insane. Let's get out of there and hit up the last and final vehicle. This bad boy right here. The man. I imagine this is the paddy wagon. This is the big bad boy right here. We got two doors on it. And then we got one. I'm surprised this one doesn't have a... Oh, it does. Look at the inside of this. You can literally... Oh, oh my god, it's literally got a prison in here, man. It's legit got a prison in here. You're kidding me. You know I've never used these blocks before either. Never. I, I've, I've never used them before. It's got four cells. That is so cool, dude. That is really, really awesome. Well, I think we've just about covered everything we can with this vehicle. Let's let ourselves out of here. I'm stuck. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I think we pretty much covered everything, guys. That is it for our little police mod. If you want to download it for yourself, like I said, just hit up Pingu's. Download Police Set of Doom. But I really hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, please go ahead and punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. My voice should be back to normal soon. Apologies for being a little bit sick. What can I do? It's that time of the year over here in Australia. It's winter. Can you believe that? And uh, the weather's been a little bit nasty lately. But that is all. Guys, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now. Just wanna move a few